good morning welcome to another festive friday reading vlog the third festive friday reading vlog only one more after this then it's the big day the big christmas day i'm very very happy today because i haven't got to leave the house <laughs> i feel like there's been a lot of leaving the house this month i've had a lot of things on um and socializing and stuff tis the season after all but today and I said this to David when I got home last night, because last night I went to watch um, the recording of the, the, the new Beyonce film where she's recorded her tour. It was very, very good. When I got in, I was like, oh my God, I don't need to leave the house again until Saturday night. <laughs> and I do feel excited about that. So, had a lovely sleep, woke up about nine. Um, and yeah, ready for the day, which is basically reading and chilling. So... I always like to start the old Friday reading vlogs before we go in and get the questions um, with a little plan for the day. So I think I'm going to have a daytime bath. Um, I think there's a few little chores I'd like to do. I did a cleaning video where I started doing a cleaning challenge, Christmas cleaning challenge. And I didn't get through all of those. So I might chip into those a bit on that today because I've got an audio book to listen to. So we'll talk about the books a bit later on. Um, I've got some leftover broccoli soup with little cheesy on toasts to have for lunch. I've got a gusto for dinner. Would like to do some wrapping because I started doing a bit of wrapping yesterday. I wrapped my dad's presents, I wrapped my, two of my friend's kids' presents and I wrapped my nan's presents and my friend's birthday present. But I like to have like everything together before I wrap it so I can see what I've got them. I won't be able to do David's because obviously he's here. Um, and yeah, reading and a load of washing probably. Maybe a few little chores. But yeah, I think it's going to be very, very chill. David's already made me a cup of tea. And I'm going to sit in bed and read. As I said, we'll talk more about the books in a bit. But I'm going to sit in bed and read more of All Change by Elizabeth Jane Howard. I'm on page 350. I don't ever want it to end, but at the same time, I know it's got to end at some point. But I'm just loving it. I've absolutely loved this series. It's been such a highlight of the year for me. Um, loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. On we go. <laughs> Day. So um, it's breakfast time. Although I shouldn't really be this on the sofa, but I'll put them there. Um, and oh my god! In David's uh, advent calendar the other day, I gave him these little pastries with like well fake. Well, it's not fake Nutella. It's like hazelnut ganache in, and he's just split them between us for breakfast. But I was also going to also have one of these figs in chocolate that I got in my advent calendar today. Do you want to come and try a fig in chocolate, David? Do you want to come and try a fig in chocolate? No. Got the word, it's because it's got one of the words for fruit in it. And he thinks, no, I won't like that. Mm. There's a lot of fig in chocolate. But you can still eat it. Try one. Lovely. You find one, you're such a brave boy. Chocolate, there's one. Mmm, lovely. There you go. Really lovely. Really nice. How's 
you feel? Not really. He doesn't really feel anything. I feel nothing. He feels nothing. Right, well, I'm on the sofa now with my breakfast and my tea and my reading plans for the day. So, I'm currently reading, as you would have seen, All Change by Elizabeth Jane Howard. I'm on page 368 of 573. So I've got 200 pages that is left. I don't want it to be over. Um, but I also know it needs to be over because I've got other stuff to read. But oh my God, I've just loved getting to know this family. It's been amazing. It's been the best series of books I've read in a really long time. I've really, really, really loved it. And the fact that this is, although it's not, I read it thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna be really Christmassy because it says that they're coming together over Christmas, but it actually spans a couple of Christmases and a couple of summers and a couple of springs and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been a little diversion from the Christmas reading I've been doing, but there are Christmassy bits in here, but I've loved it. It's tying up some loose ends. There's been really sad bits. There's been some really like come up and spits. Um, and yeah, loving it. I also started reading Christmas with Maud Lewis, um, maybe last week. I'm about halfway through this. Yeah, I am halfway through. It's 100, yeah, I'm over halfway through. It's 114 pages and I'm 57 pages in, so I really am halfway through. Um, I might pick this up at some point today. This is a bit of a quick read because it's about the artist Maud Lewis um, and a lot of the pages are photographs or uh, pieces of her art and stuff like that. So yeah, that won't take long. There's some two turtle doves. And then it's, Patreon Christmas Book Club on Sunday and I need to have read and written questions on the Christmas appeal. So I said to David, could he make sure that he's had he would have this finished by Friday? And um, he's on page 125. It's not 200 pages, so he's well over halfway. So I would like to start this tonight. Um, he thinks he'll have this done. So when he finishes work, he's gonna sit and have a little read. Maybe he'll have a little read on his lunch as well. Um, but yeah, I'd like to start that. I'm also listening to the audiobook of Christmas Days by Jeanette Winston, which is one of my favourite books ever. Not just one of my favourite Christmas books, one of my favourite books ever. It's a collection of short stories that Jeanette's written, um, set at the Christmas um, time, whether they be ghost stories or stories about families and yeah, it's an amazing collection and then each short story is interspersed with like a little recipe and a little excerpt from where she got that recipe. So. I've listened to this book like seven times now, read it as well. So it's, it's really in my, so it's a real nostalgia fest for me to go back and listen to it because it, nostalgia is probably not right because I've only been listening to it. What's the word, like a, a like a routine thing, like a, like a tradition almost for me to visit it. So I sort of remember the order in which the stories go. I sort of remember some of the recipes and the stories. So there's like Ruth Rendell's Red Cabbage. I've just listened to the one about her mother's mince pies and yeah it's just a really lovely Christmassy thing but there are some scary ghost stories in there too <laughs> but and I know how they end and I'm still fighting not them um but yeah I really enjoy doing that so I'm gonna listen to maybe a couple of short stories from that today um and uh, do a bit cleaning or do some wrapping um and have a generally lovely time simply having a generally lovely time <laughs> so yeah so I think that's that's the plan for the day um, there'll be some other little things that happen during the day because as is the way when you've got a day where you're like all I'm gonna do is read you like think oh well, maybe I'll clean the sink and maybe I'll well I've already found something I need to do I need to change one of the prints in David's office and I'll show you that a bit later on because it's to do with our anniversary um, yeah so yeah I'm very very relaxed and happy but I'm going to continue with all change I just don't want it to be over. Just realised I didn't do the question. I need my phone for the question. That's the whole point of me sitting down here. I need to do the question. Two seconds. Could you come here, please? Because the Christmas question today involves a response from you. So I'm only asking it now. What are you doing, cute girl? All right. So the question is... If you could have a festive prequel or sequel to any book, what would it be? And the same question to you, but film. So if you could have a festive sequel or prequel, don't answer now, because it'll just say something silly. 
well, if he has a think about it. We'll answer at the end. So the question is, if you could have a festive prequel or sequel to any book, what would it be? And the same question to David, if you could have a festive prequel or sequel to any film, what would it be? So you can answer below with your book or film or both. And David and I will answer at the end. If you could have a festive prequel or sequel to a book or a film, what would it be? Are you having a little think about it? Ah. She, he's having a little think, but his feet are also being attacked by a dappy. Is she really attacking? <laughs> she's looking at me and she's just winked at me. <laughs> she's so... Oh! This is where... Oh! <laughs> Let me see. Oh! What's going on here then, missus? Are oh, you attacking... that's an all innocent now, aren't you? Look at her upside down. Is that daddy's foot? <laughs> You are a little biter, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much. We're in matching pyjamas today. Say bye, David. Bye. <laughs> Bit of a change of plan. I've read some of my all change, um, but my mum and my niece are going to baby rhyme, so I said, do they want to pop round for a cup of tea afterwards? And then my cousin's just messaged saying she's having her hair done, and can she pop round for a cup of tea? So I'm going to have to neglect the bath and um, go and get in the... Um, Go and get in the shower and get ready for my guests. I don't know when they're coming, but I don't think it's imminently, but I better go and get in the shower now. So that's what I'm going to do. Bye. Lovely. I've got my Pogs t-shirt on. It's from Sainsbury's menswear about eight years ago. Because Dave and I have been together 10 years now. Well, over 10 years. It was 10 years in February. I have to work out if something is done since I've known David or <laughs> before then, but yeah. And then I've just got a, um, oh, Saturday by Megan Ellaby long sleeve top on underneath. I wear these all the time. This one's leopard print there. But yeah, these are great for under t-shirts and jumpsuits and jumpers and everything. During the winter. Right, so here is the print I bought for David um, for Halloween by Naomi Wilkerson. Um, and I, he, I then bought him one with cats on for other times of the year. But when we went away for our um, anniversary, which you'll see the vlog, so the vlog that goes up tomorrow includes stuff from when we were away for our anniversary. It was our one year anniversary, which is paper. And the amazing people at the pig at Bridge Place, which is where we stayed, had printed off a big, massive, <laughs> A3 menu which says at the top happy first paper anniversary Lauren and David so I said we'd get this framed and put in the kitchen um, as a sort of memory but at the moment I'm worried about them getting so we've got two because we took both and David had them stacked in the window with this bit touching the window where it gets condensated so I'm concerned about it getting damaged so at the moment I'm just gonna hide it away in here and then when we get another A3 frame, because I like the A3 frames with like the, what's this called? Mountain, mount, mount around the edge. Um, because I just feel like it makes more of a, a thing of it. The only thing is, the only bit of wall in our kitchen, which we could do that, is the bit behind the door. So I think I might blow out a candle actually. Oh. So this is the first time I've ever used command strips to put a picture up and whilst very easy to put on and off the wall, they've over, overlapped on here so this is a bit more of a job. Since inviting my mum and my niece and my cousin round for lunch, I haven't heard anything back from any of them so I might have rushed and got in the shower for no reason although good to be showered isn't it? So let's put these in here. I've put a little bit of masking tape. Oh yeah, that masking tape's done the job. Not masking tape, washi tape. Oh, taking the backing of the painting off. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on with this and then I'm gonna resume my position on the sofa until I know whether people are coming. Um, and if they're not, then I'll do some wrapping and listen to my audiobook, but I'll read on the sofa until then. Happy Halloween! I'm gonna keep it in there so that it's all just nice. Do you know where everything is then, don't you? In fact, I might even put the cat one in there as well. 
should I? No, it might be too heavy. The cat one can stay where it is for the time being. It's nice to have this out at the moment because we're still celebrating the anniversary. She's still talking to herself, isn't she? Right, let's get on. Nice. You can film her. Hello, Daphne. She coming out? Who's that? Daphne. <laughs> She's very cute, isn't she? Yeah. Do you like her? Is she my best friend? She's your best friend. You're my best friend. I'm your best friend, and David's your best friend. Can I do that? Yeah. Do you want to go and take that to David and film David doing some work? <laughs> you don't need to press anything, it's already recording. Say David. David! David! Yo! Hi! I need to film you. Are you filming? Yeah. Well, hi, is this, is this uh, your vlog? No. No? What is it then? Nothing. Nothing. Are you going to film me? Yeah! Hello, welcome to my vlog. This is David's Christmas table. I'm going to have a little chop thing. What are they in chocolate? These are figs in chocolate. I don't think you'll like it that much. And who's that you're filming? Daphne. I'm going to film Nanny. Go on then, go and film Nanny. Hi. What's Nanny doing? Wiggly. She's so nice. She's so nice. There we go. And then when you finish, you press this one. Well, guests have left. And, um, oh, put me towels on spin. The second spin. Two spins in the winter, guys. Two spins in the winter. And I'm just about to heat up some broccoli soup. We might add some. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's yesterday's broccoli soup that was from a gusto recipe. Two broccoli soup with cheesy toast. Have as well um very very nice as always um i'll link the the deal down below here are the cheesy toasts um if you'd like to use gusto i think i mean have a look down below because i'll have written it in there but i think it's the first box is 65 percent off and then for the first two months you get 20 percent off but i'll link it down below if you'd like and yeah broccoli soup i love soup david does not but when he eats it he's like actually that's not too bad but if i was to proffer him soup as a dinner or as a lunch no. <laughs> i mean you can hear he's saying no um, so yeah i'm gonna heat that up and then i'm gonna read some more because we literally started reading and uh laura turned up and then just as laura was leaving my mum and my niece turned up. Um, but yeah, it's very cute. My niece and uh, Daphne are becoming quite good mates. We were a bit worried about it because Minnie did not like my niece at all. But Daphne seems quite into her. Like, because she would go and hide if she wanted to, but she doesn't. She just sort of loiters around when she's about. So yeah. And my niece also did uh, the hoovering. We've got this little hoover. <laughs> A handheld one. Somebody asked about this. It's the Handy 700 from Hoover. It's the pets one. Um, and you get three lots of attachments. And this one, oh god, there's so much hair in it, um, is perfect because this makes it look like a little Hoover for Minis to use. And she literally runs around with it. She loves doing it. So um, she does that when she comes around. And then I gave her a pound. Well, today I gave her two pounds. She'd never seen a two pound coin before, so she was very excited. It's very strange, isn't it, that these sort of generation of small people are not gonna see all that much cash I guess because there's just as much not as much cash out in flow and like I said she'd never even seen a two pound coin before although so she tells me she'd never seen a two pound coin before so yeah now I'm just getting all this fluff off and it's on charge you get about nine minutes out of it which is okay if you're just like running it over the sofa or running it over whatever you're running it over but yeah it always runs out by the time she's used it but she's used to it running out now um so yeah anyway i'll finish doing this and then i'll uh, eat the lunch bye job's i 
need to do before Christmas, one, replace the lights on the bottom of the tree, because the bottom of the tree lights have stopped working. Um, I've just decided, I've just made an executive decision of my YouTube channel, that tonight, um, instead of doing a video, because I haven't got a video planned for today, I'm going to do a live, ah, oh, I'm going to do a live um, rap and chat, so I'm going to rap for an hour, um, and chat, and maybe people would like to come along, and um, rap with me, or chat with me, just a bit of Friday night stuff at 8 o'clock tonight on my YouTube channel. So it would have already happened um, by the time this video has gone up. But you'll probably be able to see it if you'd like to. I'm sure it will be on my uploads. If not, I'll link it down, down below. Um, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. And I thought, well, if that works out quite well, maybe I'll do another one of those next week. Because 24 videos in one month is a lot. Um, and also, I've got an awful lot of rapping to do. <laughs> so it'll probably work out quite well. So quite pleased with myself about that. So the plan now is, it's bloody freezing, I've just put my heated air on, so hopefully that will warm the house up a bit. But I'm going to pop the, this on here. The wrapping I was gonna do this afternoon, I'll now, um, won't, because I can do it this evening. And I'll need to have an early bath to be ready for me me audience with and yeah I could even do a bit of cross stitching if I get my wrapping done maybe I'll do a cross stitch one next week cross stitch and chat for an hour yeah maybe I'll do that I feel very pleased with myself about that and even more pleased with myself about me me washing going on the air I was gonna put another load on but do you know what I don't think I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna purely wait for this to dry Rather than have a an era with wet washing on, maybe I'll maybe I'll put it on to come on in the night, so it can go on here in the morning. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm feeling quite well planned. Oh. David's just been in a work meeting for hours, and um, I didn't know how to put the era on because it was plugged into like a. a, a um, smart socket and I didn't know how to get that on <laughs> so I've just been sat waiting but yeah I've done quite a lot of reading I've uh after my bath I reckon I'll be 100 pages from the end of this again I don't want it to be over but I'm less than 150 pages away anyway I've put another jumper on well, I think I'd already had another jumper on when they started. Where are you sitting there? Are you reading as well? Yeah. I might need a big glass if that's okay, Bob. Okay. Unless you want to come on the end of here and share two blankets with me. No, that's okay. Oh, that's he doesn't want to. Um, I'm getting very cosy. I won't do that on them, will I? <laughs> He's got the big light on. Well, you might um, benefit from it. I wanted sure. two blankets because I'm just so cold. It is cold, isn't it? And I've got today? my plug-in hot water bottle on. David, oh, I can include David in this now as well. There he is. He's going to go there. Do you not want a blanket? I'm all right for the minute. This my jumper's actually warm me up. My bit. feet are cold. So I've got two blankets, a hot water bottle, a long sleeve top, a t-shirt, and a jumper. My the, the heated air is on. It's only been on a little bit, so it's not going to be doing masses to keep me warm. But in the bedroom, which is where the thermostat is, I've got candle on in here as well. Um, it says. It's 18.1. Well, it certainly doesn't feel like 18.1. It feels cold. Hello, Daffy. She's on a little table. She's on a little chair under the table. So yeah. So David's now finished work for the day. Um. Well, nearly. And it's time to. What's that? Gillian chocolate. I can't eat any more chocolate. Are you impressed? I'm still got these. Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> I actually am impressed that you still got those. Well done. Um, I've had a bit chocolated out. I just had a bit of beetroot. I've got some like red wine vinegar pickled beetroot and I had one of them and I was like, God, that gave me the same reaction as if I was to eat a chocolate. So yeah, I'm going to carry on reading for a bit. Then I think once I've had my tea, I might go and have an early bath, get in my pyjamas. Oh, shout. Um, or we could cook dinner. What do you want to do? Cook dinner at six? Have dinner, get in the bath, get ready. Then I do my 
rap and chat at eight and then we watch I'm a movie. I'm not in this video, am I? Yeah. What, rapping and chapping? Oh, no, 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 rapping and chapping. No, no, no. I thought you were about this video that's filming now. I was like, yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll see yourself. Or the option is have an early, have a bath, then do dinner. Yeah, let's do that. You always want a bath first, don't you? Yes. Oh, yeah, I don't want a dinner and then bath. Okay. Well, then we'll do that. So let's read for a bit, then I'll bath. You can get in after me. I'll start on the dinner. Yeah. Pigs in blankets, plant based pigs in blankets mm. and mash for dinner, which I'm very excited about. Eat yeah. that. <coughs> and then get ready for some wrapping. And what are you going to do while I'm wrapping? Um, more reading, finishing off. Yeah, that's a good shout. I will finish, yeah. While I'm chatting, but he's going to be wanting to Well, I'll, I'll go in the bedroom. And... There's going to be comments about him and he'll be like, oh, what's that? Someone said something about me. What, what did I think of Wonka? Yeah, I really liked Wonka. I did like Wonka. That sort of thing will be going on. I don't mind coming in on this video, actually. I'll just be like, every now and again, I'll just come in Anything in about me? And be like, what's getting in your comments? Exactly. Exactly. Right, okay. <clears throat> Did you enjoy it? I did. As much as the appeal? Um, not as much as the appeal. And again, very much like the appeal, the last 60, 70 pages, I, d I, I never like the conclusion of things. I always find it- You like the drama. I love the drama. I love the drama, love Mick. the drama of it all, Mick. Um, yeah, I love just the build up to it and all the things that, that's always my favorite bit. I don't really, I don't really care. For the for the explanation for the, for the and, the, and the, the conclusion. I don't give a shit. I just love looking, just reading all of the goss that goes around, all of the like the bitchiness and the backstabbing. Well, well done. You read it in basically three sittings. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's for me now. Ooh. I'm gonna finish this before I start this. Yeah. Because I'm almost done with this. Well done, though. And I dropped off during that, didn't I? What's that? My second book. Bath. I've done so much reading today, it's been positively dreamy. I've got less than 100 pages of All Change to go. Love it. They're just coming together for, uh, well, I can't really bloody say anything in case you do want to read the whole series, but they're just coming together, let's say, for Christmas. So, yeah, I'm gonna put this away because my niece did the uh, hoovering for us earlier, which was lovely. And then I'm going to get on with dinner. And I'm going to carry on listening to. I'm going to carry on listening to Jeanette Winterson's Christmas Days. I'm on the second story, which is called The Snow Mama. Um, and it's a lovely, heartwarming story. And I think I mentioned earlier, but we've got plant-based pigs in blankets with mash and cranberry sauce for dinner. Oh, it looks nice, doesn't it? Not all that many ingredients either. But let's get them out. Mash. I just love mash. Henderson's relish, which I think is like um, the equivalent of Worcester sauce, but it doesn't have fish in it. I think that's why we get that. Agave nectar, like honey, because it's plant-based. Cranberry sauce, nice bottle of cranberry sauce. Ground smoked paprika, David loves him some ground smoked paprika. Meat-free sausages, I think the brand is meat-free, yeah, Meatless Farm. Quite nice, quite nice sausages. One parsnip. I think this parsnip will form the bacon that wraps around it. A soy sauce, eight millilitres. Spring greens. Vegetable stock mix, 5.5 grams. And three white potatoes. I might have, I thought there were some more potatoes in there, but I don't. Oh, there's a big parsnip. There we go. And I think I'll just pop a little 
put a beetroot in my mouth to keep me going. I bought. Mm. Okay. I bought a couple of kombucha sparkling non-alcoholic wines for Christmas. This one I think is from Marks and Spencer's. Sparkling English rose infused kombucha because I don't drink booze. This one I've had before. You can get this from Milk and More, but I think I got this one from Sainsbury's. This is the Royal Flush. They're both pricey, um, considering there's no booze in them. I think they're about eight or nine pound each. But that'll keep me, I'll have one more bit of beetroot then. That'll keep me going over Christmas. David might drink that. My dad might have a glass, etc. Right, I'm gonna take 30 to 40 minutes. We start by preheating the oven. What time did I say I'd do that live? Eight o'clock, didn't I? Yeah. Don't get my phone listening to the audio, but boop, boop. There's so many presents under the tree now, Duffy can't get round. Yeah. Oh, where's my book? Over here. Alexa, stop. So, we're at the end of the vlog. The festive Friday reading vlog. David and I are about to watch a film. Oh, I'm gonna do some oh, we're cross out. stitch. In fact, let me get my cross stitch so that we're all ready to go. David's just picking something. Oh, so here's the Christmas cross stitch. That I'll be doing a little bit more of, oh. I do love to watch telly and do a cross stitch. I was saying like, I feel like it really focuses me, David, rather than like be on my phone and doing something. Like I feel like if I'm watching something and doing the cross stitch, it feels yeah. like I'm, I'm focusing a bit more. Yeah. Uh, this is how we're getting on with it. Oh, that's too far away, David. We, oh no. Oh no, oh there it is. Oh, you want to, the needle. Do you want to hold it? To yeah, just hold it up to the, that's how it's looking. That's how it's looking. Thank you. Um, What's going up my bum? <laughs> it's, it's this from the blanket. <laughs> What's going up my bum? It's this from the blanket. So the reading that's been done today, I've done so much reading today. I've got less than 100 pages of All Change, uh, the last in the um, Casalet Chronicles. And I would like to finish this tonight. So once I've done a bit of reading, uh, once I've watched a bit of this film, well, however long, do you not want to watch your Christmas on mine? You don't want to. What, two? Yeah. No. Okay, I might watch that on my own one day. I uh, no, I won't, no, that's, sorry. I do want to watch it, but I don't but want to watch now. it now. No, I want, um, I want to watch so, it. So yeah, I very much enjoy this. I can't wait to like, I've, well, I can wait, but like, I've, I've loved it and I, I've, I haven't stopped reading it all day today. But I'll be very sad when it's over, but it's coming to a great conclusion. Um, and I didn't, so David did finish the Christmas appeal but I will start this tomorrow and probably read it tomorrow. I didn't read anything of Christmas with Maud Lewis and I, oh, I did listen to, I listened to The, the Snow Mama while I was making dinner, um, the short story in Christmas Days. Um, but let us answer the question, David. I hope you've been thinking about it lots. Oh man, it's a really hard question. Let me get the question up so I can get the wording correct. Um, if you could have a festive prequel or sequel to any book, what would it be, the same to David, but which film? So, what film would you have a festive prequel or sequel to? Oh, God, do you know what I would like? Okay, go on then. Chef. Oh, a that sequel. would be great, yeah. Because it's proper a okay, sequel. like them, like, doing, like, Christmas yeah. stuff. That would be really good. That would be lovely. That would be very, very good. Mm, I yeah. like that a lot. And it's a very stylish film, so they do the Christmas very stylishly yeah, as well. Sexy Christmas. Sexy Christmas. Mm. Is there any Christmas in it? I don't think there is, is there? No, 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 no. It's all by, like it's all over the summer because it's when his son's on his summer vacation. Summer vacation. Or spring break. I can't remember. Um, like I was thinking I would quite like a whole Christmas um, book of the Heartstopper series because oh, I yeah, love Heartstopper. Cool. Uh, there is a Christmas book set within the Heartstopper world, but it's to do with, I think it, if I remember rightly, it was quite sad. Um, and it was to do with um, Charlie's family, but I'd like a sort of like Nick and Charlie 
Christmas festive love fest in the way that sort of like pumpkin heads is like that yeah. sort of thing um so yeah i think i'd go for heartstopper nice. and then obviously i'd be very excited about the tv episode of that so there we go those are the answer to our question very very good question there is one more festive friday reading vlog after this today so if you do have um any more uh bookish uh festive questions then do ask below and they may well get answered next week and then the last thing is to read a poem so it's the 15th of december today we are going with Eva Forecasts by Jean Kenwood or Slip Into Sleep by Mandy Coe. Oh, I'm going to go with Slip Into Sleep by Mandy Coe. So here we go. David, just stop scrolling for a minute and listen to the, listen to the poem. Sorry. Pop that down. Put it all the way down. Slip Into Sleep by Mandy Coe. Do you ever roll around in bed unable to get into sleep? In spite of every effort at lying still and counting sheep, this meditative poem by Mandy Coe, with its soothing use of repetition and single rhyme of sleep and deep, is a brilliant one to remember when you climb into bed. Oh, here we go. Slip your toes into sleep. Slip your heels into sleep. Slip your knees into sleep. Slip your hips into sleep. Breathe soft, breathe deep. Slip into sleep. Slip your middle into sleep. Slip your chest into sleep. Slip your shoulders into sleep. Slip your arms into sleep. Breathe soft, breathe deep. Slip into sleep. Slip your elbows into sleep. Slip your oh. wrists into sleep. Slip your fingers into sleep. Breathe soft, breathe deep. Slip into sleep. Slip into sleep. Slip your neck oh. into sleep. Slip your chin into sleep. Slip your lips into sleep. Breathe soft, breathe deep. Slip into sleep. Slip your nose into sleep. Slip your eyes into sleep. Slip your hair into sleep. Breathe soft, breathe deep. Slip into sleep. Finished with Daphne, just... She's got a ball off the tree. She's a little bitch, isn't she? So there we go, that was lovely. And I will think of that when I'm trying to get to sleep, actually. Slip into sleep. Slip into sleep is a lovely sort of... Slip into sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll be thinking of. Slip into sleep. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see you all again uh, tomorrow for another Vlogmas video, a uh, vlog of the week, in fact. You ready to pose for the thumbnail, David? Yeah. Do you want to pose with your book that you were reading, David? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. You put more towards you. Smile. <laughs>